this is Maggie. I periodically like to do these quick and easy Tuesday tips to keep folks who are in our Facebook group on their toes. So this one is visually taken on a Mac. If you have a PC, you will be able to follow along, so don't worry about it. And also, if you have my Sonet, right now I am in Premiere Plus 2 Embroidery, my Sonet works the same. Now, in order to keep these short, I created a line. That's all it was, is a line in digitizing or create, depending on which program you're in, and I exported it. You can see I leave the exported tag on there, and I've let it be kind of short. I believe this is about 2.4 inches. Now I'm going to take it into Encore because I want to create a starburst. I saw a pretty one once and I thought, gosh, I want to do something similar. So I'm changing it to 50. Now the reason I didn't make a line and try to have them all cross each other is you'll see these don't join in the center. And I could have 50 or 100 stitches going all over each other if I tried to hand digitize this and make a line and a line and a line. But by doing it so that the lines don't join in the center, which you'll see in a second, I will not have the big honkin' buildup of thread. So I hit preview. Oop, boop, boop. I have to highlight this. It's not recognizing my thread. There we go. And I have this. Now this will let me, I can, this little thing, if you grab this, you're gonna end up with an oval. I'll show you, see, oops. So let's undo that, Command Z. Well, it doesn't work when you're in that mode. Let's get it back to a circle. But if I want it to come in, there we go. I don't want it all the way. Now, apply, and there we go. I have a circle. It's a little bit thick here, but it isn't as bad as it could be. And I can place things on top of it. It's a neat little starburst, but the thing is, let's see if we command Z out of here. Make sure the thread is selected this time. I've still got 50, I hit preview. And what if you want to create a monogram with just a simple light stitching starburst around it? You can leave the center open and you have each of these lines. And that's really how simple it is. Oops, I forgot to apply that so I can go back. And it's selected. I actually like it this way. I'm gonna apply it this way come in and I actually kind of bring it out and from here let's see I could make them all the same in this kind of thing we are going to color sort of course but I'd also consider doing a sort of rainbow thing where just kind of red orange yellow green all the way around and you can also make it ombre if you don't want to. <laughs> you can make it all one color, but you can also make it three or four. You can make it gold. This was supposed to be short, so I suppose I should hush up now. But I did want you to try and start to think out of the box about some of the things you can do with Encore, especially for cute little backgrounds.